Welcome to the City of Boise ePlan 9.2 presentation. We are excited to announce that on June 21st, 2021, we will be moving towards ePlan with a new upgrade. Currently in the system, we have uh, users who apply for records and upload documents and acknowledge uh, that within ePlan, the department review cycle is conducted. This ePlan Review 9.2 upgrade will enhance user experience and document view, along with accessibility to reviews and additional uh, configuration items. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my test applicant account. And when you first log in, A lot of the original and current features are still noticed. The look and feel of the project has very much changed. Over here on the left hand side, you'll notice that the tabs are listed. Anything that is within this page is your current projects and it's sorted by newest to oldest by default. This is configurable up at the top. You'll notice that there is a home button, you have your full search option, and then you have the ability to search a project by project number. You have your all tasks button, and you have your profile information where you can edit your password and your logout button. On the left hand side, you'll notice that there is a standard task list. This standard task list is for the old ePlan workflows. In many cases, you will not have any content here. Eventually with the upgrades, that tab will disappear. This tasks page is where you can see your active tasks. You have your applicant upload tasks listed there. And under the projects tab, you'll notice once again, your projects listed out from newest to oldest. And under here, you'll notice that there are linked items in which you can navigate. Up at the top, I have a column chooser, which I am applying different filters. I open it back up. I can show and hide certain columns. Under this little gear on the right hand side, you can also move the columns to the left or and right. And the case description search is still very valid. Let's say I'm looking for a remodel and the sort automatically sorts out by description. Clearing the sort will revert it back to the normal state. Now the biggest change within the new ePlan 9.2 upgrade is the left hand side action columns. If you hover over them, you'll notice the description display. This one is for project files and it's similar to clicking on the case number where it will open up a certain portion of the project. I can view the other action items by simply hovering over to see the description. If I were to click on the project files tab, it will take me directly to the documents and drawings of that project. Now, if I click on the home option, this has been an enhancement. It returns back to the same place I was at, the all, not recent. Currently in the system, when you click on the home, it takes you back to a page where you have to navigate additional options. As you can see here, I just went into the info button and this is basically a snapshot of what information I can find on the project, address, location. If I go back to the home drop down, we just went over the info. Now we're going to go into the project reports tab and in this tab we're going to notice the reports listed for the project. I, as an applicant, can run these reports. If I would like to, I can either click on the report link or to the left, there is also an icon that allows you to open that up. Going back to the home page and the second to last action item is the project status tab. This is a new tab within the ePlan 9.2 upgrade. This project status tab does create more of a sense of a timeline. You as the applicant can 
can look at certain data regarding the review type that's being conducted, the total number of files that are on the record, along with uh, a time breakdown of what that looks like for applicants. Open reviews would be listed there as well. You also have the ability to look up the non-completed tasks. And then you have additional access to the workflow routing slip below. If I click on the link, by clicking on the link or clicking on the view report button, you're able to open up and generate the report. report displays in here along with all of the reviews that have taken place on the record. I can export this report or save it to my computer to send off to any additional team members. If I click on the home button, I go back to the project page and that was reviewing the status. Now if I go into project tasks, the far left action item, it opens up the tasks for that project. If I were to click on the home button, take me back to the project. And if I look for a project with an applicant upload status, I should find a task there for me to accept. If I click on the workflow designer, I'll notice that the workflow process flow is opened up. These have not changed, so the similar practice and process for review cycles. On this building residential template, anything listed in green is where it's currently at. The white is automation that the system is running, and yellow is where the City of Boise staff members are actively signing off tasks or doing reviews. I'm going to go over a few other tabs up here at the top. You'll notice that this has been included for ease of navigation, but also to the top right, the project name search has been brought back into the new upgrade. With this project name search, you can search for any project that you may have access to. By clicking on a partial search, you can also go out home, and from here you can access the standard task list, task and project onto that page. Thank you for uh, joining me for this ePlan presentation and we look forward to working with you all 